Since its early days, the Internet's World Wide Web was established on one fundamental principle, freedom. Freedom in connecting humanity. Much like the printing press crafted egalitarian revolutions, the Internet has become the flagship of 21st century freedom of speech. People, bloggers, activists, use the internet to connect various movements, you know, and it's the connections that led to a revolution. A person protesting can de face death in my country. It's interesting to have, having watched the Arab Spring going on and what social media played in that revolution. Increasingly, every user of the internet is not only a consumer of information, but a producer. O lema da Revolução Francesa é cada vez mais atual. Então imagine o potencial que a internet representa para solucionar as questões do desenvolvimento. It has been called the ultimate leveler, representing one playing field where everybody is free to interact equally. But how free are we, really? To express ourselves, to access content, to have privacy. You're paying with your data to use a service. That's why it's free. Facebook, in turn, sells that data to advertisers. It's the same with every so major platform that you use. If you're not paying for it, you're probably the product. The ISP is able to collect all your transactional data. Even the location of your data is being disclosed. A company called Naris sells what's called DPI or Deep Packet Inspection that allows all data to be sifted, reviewed, screened and analyzed by the Egyptian government. The internet in Egypt is dead. Egypt is the internet traffic has this blackout, the skill switch, killed many lives. Bom, no Egito, na Tunísia, na Síria, eles desligaram a internet justamente para impedir a liberdade de expressão e o acesso à informação. Os projetos americanos, tipo Sopa ou Pipa, iriam delegar às corporações um poder de censura e de bloqueio inédito na história da rede e que iria afetar o mundo inteiro. So how leveled is this playing field? Is everybody allowed to play? And who is in control? Who sets the game's rules? Depending on who you ask, 90 to 97% of the internet is controlled by private corporations. A falta de concorrência na forma como a internet se organiza acaba afetando as possibilidades de acesso. Isso acontece tanto do ponto de vista da infraestrutura quanto do ponto de vista dos direitos autorais. The copyright laws were adopted by developed countries after they were already developed. We don't think that it's fair to firstly push developing countries into a position where they're forced to rely on piracy and then to attack them for using pirated goods. Não existe uma internet livre sem uma conexão rápida e barata. Mas as barreiras a esse acesso continuam impeditivas, especialmente no sul global. Freedom of expression is the right to seek and receive information of any kind and to impart and disseminate information and opinions through any means possible. So access to the internet is not a new right, but it's a necessary element within the boundaries of human rights, of freedom of expression, of access to information, and it's also part of the right to development.